the big sleepover Christmas scary movie party. Yesterday was Annie's birthday. She turned 27. We don't want anybody to know that though. Ken and I are actually on our way out because we have to do a little bit of shopping anyways. We're gonna go to movie stop because I am gonna get the scariest movie that I can think of. And you know what that one is? I don't either. I'm trying to find that one movie that will scare the crap out of Annie. Myself included, because that's what she comes over for. She comes over to get, you know, the crap scared out of her with the movies. Any ideas? Uh, no solid ideas right now, but we, we will find something. I know, she's creeped out by, um, by ghost stories, I know that, and, and people in the house kind of thing. I know that that really bothers her. Or like a home invasion kind of thing, it's the strangers. That scared the hell out of her. We watched that on a movie night, and I don't, she didn't go home very well to that one. I gotta get cash out, and then I gotta get a bunch of coffee. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be like a scary ass nightmare of caffeine and tension. It's all happening tonight. We got the cash, we got the precursor to the caffeine tonight. They're on our way now. I'm looking now to spend about somewhere in the $20 range. So what is the last movie that you saw that scared the hell out of you? They were like, got a lot of really good boo moments because I don't really get too intimidated freaked out by movies. The, the grudging movies kind of got to me. They kind of got to me. I know you've already seen it. I think The Conjuring was one of the best ones. Yes. Recent. Dead Silence. Same director. Did you see that? No, I didn't see. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's the one we watched with Annie last time. Her and Lisa. That's the kind of one I'm going for now, too. Is Annabelle out on video yet? Oh, I wish. Deliver Us Some People, for your time of reference right now, has just come out on video, and I I shudder to look at the price of that because I know it's going to be in the $25 to uh, $30 range. Movie Stop is really good with um, older movie prices, but new ones they are retail price for a little while until people start returning them and then you can buy them used. Walmart would have like, the risk from evil. It wouldn't be much cheaper than, than $20. Walmart did impress me. I found a Blu-ray double feature. I guess it's the same producers or something. Mega Shark versus Crocodile. I couldn't remember the other one. I really bought it for the way to charge back. And, um, I had seen that movie on DVD at Movie Stop, and it was $27. I was like, no. But it was that because it was rare. See, Walmart sells stuff, and they don't often really realize what they have. So, you can get a good deal there, but I'm not willing to take that risk. I want to go to Movie Stop having a good feeling about them. Out there, ahead of us, at Movie Stop, is the movie that will make Annie scream. 27th birthday. I don't mind a good ghost story. You know, they, they'll scare the hell out of me no matter what. I want to see House at the End of the Street, is it? House at the End of the Street, yeah. That's the one with Jennifer Lawrence. And yes, and yeah, we watched that on our last movie marathon. That's a freaky ass movie. That's a great movie. That was fun. I didn't, I, but no, I haven't seen The Last House on the Left remake. I've seen the original, original Wes Craven, David Hess movie. Holy crap. David Hess, scary ass performance, freaky guy. Wonderful, nice guy, but freaky. I, I don't care. He, he's freaky. A creepy doll movie. What the hell? I would, I would love a creepy doll movie. Dolls are so big in the 80s and the 90s. Jolly Dearest and, and Chucky and, and dolls and, and Pinocchio with Revenge and Jesus, all of the puppet masters. Uh, master. Holy crap. That's the line of cars we're getting ready to go into. There's like about 40 cars waiting to go to that plaza to do some last minute Christmas show. Oh crap, it's a Saturday, isn't it? The 20th. Yeah. It's a shopping day before Christmas. Bum bum bum. And we just rolled into it, Ken. Yeah, I just I didn't think about that. Son of a bitch! Oh, this is gonna be awesome! And you never wanna go to the mall. You're right. We should. Skip to the mall saying I'm done Christmas shopping. I've got all my presents. <laughs> Yeehaw, look at this. Look okay. at this. We might get to the bridge. Yes. Awesome. We have got a wait ahead of us. Traffic turning on. So. <laughs> I don't think this is backup is from the red light. I think it's just a buttload of people going shopping. <laughs> We're going very slowly. Bum bum bum. It's like it's the Worcester factor. Yeah, we rolled into the snake pit. You know, it might be easier. Here we go. Jackass, nine o'clock. They're having a sale. <laughs> they always having a sale. Embellish my fantasy that I'm gonna get a good deal. I'll find what I'm looking for here. 
they have 5,000 titles at starting at $5. And people are gonna say, yeah, but they're crappy movies. That's why I watch, I watch crappy movies. They were good movies, they be horny. Shut up. There it is. And here we go. All right, here we go. This is it, coming out of Movie Stop. I think we found the movie. <laughs> Tonight is the famous Christmas horror sleepover. It begins now. Annie has arrived. This should be very interesting. Of course, as the tradition dictates, we have to start with White Christmas. Yeah. The birthday girl. With her new hat. Well, her no, new I fixed know. hat. What? Happy 27th birthday. Thank you. I've been 27 for about nine years. And going strong. That's right. Well, of course, we're going to start off with White Christmas for Lisa. Yes. But I was just telling the camera, this is interesting because I have not seen any of them. <gasps> we always have to start with White Christmas because it's the Christmas sleepover. And we don't have a White Christmas right now. No, but tonight it is going to snow half an inch. That's what they said. Really? Yes. Oh, so we will have a White Christmas. A wee bit. I feel like a lot when you do this. So. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and can I show a head with this? Hey, cut off your head. It begins. It's really just starts to fall asleep. Yeah. They've been making things all day. I have under false pretenses. Benny didn't write the letter. My sister did. Judy? Yeah, she figured you'd never come to see us if we asked you, and you might have Benny didn't. The simple as that. The classic. You ready for this movie night? I'm ready. We get cute. Save you. Gifts for each other. Oh, well. It's Wicked! <laughs> I've always wanted to see Wicked! No, you did? I have always wanted to see Wicked. I didn't know you wanted to see Wicked. I really did. So I, I have to see Wicked. Yeah, this is Why the little story here. Oh. Andy got it for you. And he gave it to me to give oh, to you. Wicked! <laughs> yes, I, I got it at Rock and Shock. We're not both going to Rock and Shock. I bought a ticket last night because I have to get a particular item in there for a Christmas present. Yes, I know, I said the C word. The eagle has landed. <laughs> oh, and it's Idina Menzel. Yes, it's the actual cat. It's, it. it's a bootleg. It's, it, it's a bootleg. She w that's how she got to be Elsa. <laughs> It's about to do that outside. We just had uh, dinner and dessert, and it's almost nine o'clock, and we're getting ready to start. The kids are getting ready to go to bed, and um, Annie's ready. Awesome. Tonight's movie is Oculus. Oh yeah, I did want to see that. Yes. I don't it, remember why. Um, we saw the trailer for it in front of a movie before, and it's from the same makers of people we like. Name your spot next to the birthday girl. We are currently 33 minutes old. Annie appears to be nervous. Jerry is chuckling at these actions. My wife Lisa sitting there across here trying to pretend she's awake, but she really is only reacting to loud noises. So her eyes are doing this. Mm -hmm. I, however, in, in the corner that documenting this. Asleep. It's messed up right now. I'm, it has I'm, moments I'm, of like the Nightmare on Elm Street kind of thing where you don't know if it's a dream or if it's a flashback. Or a See, I'm looking at it more like a Stephen King thing. Like a like shining like kind of weird weirdness to it. The ending mirrored the past. Yeah, oh, it did. I love that mirror. I don't want any mirrors in my house. They're all coming down. All of them. It appears a warm house and a great meal has done us all in. We're tapping out. I know. My name's Andy. <laughs> 